Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, organize uh, giving uh, us a chance to present our research. Uh, my name is Ron. Uh, I'm from the uh, Institute for Family and Gender Studies, uh, Vietnam Economy of Social Sciences. Uh, uh, I'm going to present uh, the overview first at first, and then my colleague is uh, going to uh, present uh, the findings. The title is uh, Improving uh, anti Care for Vulnerable Women in uh, Vietnam. So what is, uh, this is, uh, uh, is uh, very important, you know, in Vietnam. Uh, anti care uh, is always the top priority uh, of population health care. Uh, you know, Vietnam has had strong commitment to women uh, health care for mother and children. Uh, in the millennium uh, European development goals. And uh, Vietnam has uh, developed and uh, implemented uh, a number of programs, laws, and uh, uh, policy uh, on improving the access the uh, to productive health for human in Vietnam. Uh, however, the first uh, percentage of human aid, uh, 15 to 49 uh, years old, uh, making more than uh, for pre-net and uh, business and checking iron tablets uh, for uh, three uh, months over uh, during the uh, pregnancy uh, is still uh, not high. Uh, according to uh, some uh, research, about maybe uh, 60 to 70 percent. And in the case, as a recommendation of uh, double uh, 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 WS. Uh, SO uh, should be further study and to, uh, uh, in order to, in order to seek out the and and use the use of uh, the uh, productive health staff, uh, healthcare service for for pregnant uh, in uh, Vietnam. And uh, you know the vulnerable group in Vietnam, such as uh, uh, with uh, low education, lower uh, income and the uh, ethnic minorities uh, and uh, who, uh, who are agricultural workers is, uh, usually have a difficulty in uh, taking part uh, uh, in uh, and in the care. And uh, our research uh, aims to examine the change in ethnic uh, care practice and the impact of uh, L Atlantic uh, philanthropies uh, supported uh, intervention for the uh, maternal and child, uh, child care, uh, child care in uh, uh, some uh, province in, in Vietnam. Uh, we have uh, three uh, questions, uh, three uh, research questions. First, uh, what are the changes uh, in antenatal care behavior of human in the survey common uh, after five years? And uh, second is, uh, what are factors uh, it will, uh, influencing the ethnic care behavior of uh, women in survey of common. And the uh, third question is uh, how how did uh, how did AP support the intervention to affect the ethnic care of women in uh, survey common <coughs> dependent variable. We have uh, two de dependent variables. First, uh, woman who has at least. Uh, for anti-net catch up and the second is uh, took iron su supplements uh, more than three uh, months. This uh, two indicators uh, was uh, recommended by WSO and BISAP and the National Standard Guideline in Vietnam. Uh, independent variable, we have uh, four <coughs> independent variables that related uh, human, for example, education, uh, Occupation, ethnicity, and uh, the age of mother at the time of uh, giving birth, and to uh, independent independent variable that's related to uh, the ch children, uh, lives, uh, cohort of birth and the sex, and uh, more independent that is uh, income per capita of household and uh, 
last one is uh, IP intervention. Uh, this slide uh, describes all the intervention programs in Vietnam. Uh, there are two IP support of interventions that was happen, happening at the, our study. The first is uh, very stock uh, international and the second is the uh, shared children. Uh, this uh, this uh, two uh, gram are improving and uh, uh, period of uh, uh, reproductive health status of population and improving uh, maternal of maternal and newborn health in Vietnam. <coughs> Analytical methods uh, we have is three methods. First, uh, compare row two and row one for each common by uh, discrete discrete analysis. Uh, to describe, uh, describe the, status, the status and the trends of acting at the cat. And the second method is a double different uh, which intervention impact <coughs> by compare over time and the chain between uh, control group and the, uh, the intervention group. And the last uh, method is uh, multi variance. Uh, we use uh, logistic uh, regression. Data. We, uh, our research is based uh, on the data uh, from uh, population health survey in uh, 2008 and 2013 in uh, part of the homes of uh, three provinces in Vietnam. The first province, uh, one in the north, one in the central, and one in the south. Uh, this uh, survey was conducted by uh, uh, Vietnam Academies, uh, Social and uh, Sciences, and was uh, funded by uh, the Athletic uh, Philanthropies. And the sample we have uh, uh, 2000 and about 2,500 of uh, patients, women uh, at uh, 15 to 49 who give birth from 2003 to 2014, and about mm -hmm. a half uh, in the round one and in the round, and a half in the round two. Uh, this uh, two rounds was uh, combined for uh, uh, We have uh, combined uh, round one and round two for analyzing. First, uh, that is uh, from my. Next, I would like to introduce my uh, colleague, uh, Dr. Tan Ki Hong. He is, uh, she is going to present uh, the findings. Now, I would like to thank you for submit findings of our research. First of all, the chance of atomical behavior. Uh, according to my data, the atomical care behavior has been improved for around five years from uh, 2008 and 2009, uh, 2013. And the percentage of women have an addict for atomical care checkup has been improved in all communes with a percentage difference between from 10 to near about 60. Uh, percentage uh, points in all communes and the percentage of women taking iron at least three months uh, also improved in all communes but the, the chance of the um, uh, intermittent care behavior is not the same as the different uh, different groups you can see in the finger uh, the lower different chance in the women with lower education and ethnic of the women. The, um, in the finger, you can see the percentage point of women having at least four antigen care checkup and the percentage of women taking at least uh, I am three months. And um, to identify who is vulnerable of women uh, in the antigen care checkup, uh, we have uh, analyzed two uh, models. Um, the first model is the factor influence on alternative care checkups, and you can see in the finger that is uh, uh, independent uh, that have a strong relationship to the, the dependent variable. And the table uh, shows that the finger shows that the more the people, the probability of you a woman have an at least four alternative care checkup have more with the higher education, with the King Hua group, and with the people who living in the rich household. And uh, the probability of women uh, having at least four alternative care checkup is fewer with women working in agriculture. And the second model, 
is about the influence on the um, taking iron. You can see in the finger the probability of women taking iron at least three months is higher with women with higher education, women in the richer household, and women having IV intervention. And the uh, people who are working in agriculture have a less of uh, taking iron at least three months. So uh, for the data, we can identify the vulnerable women on alternative care. And uh, the women who have a lower education, who are belong to the ethnic minority, and who are the poor, the people working with uh, agriculture have a fewer, uh, have a actually care check up and taking iron a little month. So what is the AP intervention effective to the woman? Uh, we have a double different to analyze this. The double different help me to understand about the change between by time between two groups. Which group is affected by AB intervention and which group is not affected? You can see in the table. This is the change by time from 2008 to 2000, uh, 2013 uh, of the group who are the uh, affected by AP intervention and this is a group is not affected by AP intervention. And the table also shows that the people who are affected by AP intervention have a, uh, more probability to check up than the people who are not affected. So uh, to identify who are the vulnerable able in the um, alternative care check up, we also um, we also think that it should be much more effort to improve alternative care for vulnerable women in Vietnam. So we need to increase the alternative care for women who are in the poor education and the poor um, economy resource. And to increase education for women is fair for people who are living in the remote area. <coughs> and it need to con continue to make medical intervention project for poor people and who are in the ethnic minority. And it needs to be increased quality and regularity of alternate care service in remote area. Uh, I'm finished my presentation here. Thank you very much for the presentation.